This is Killsaw King with Fearcast, and I'm here with Linnea Quigley, queen of the B-movies. Uh, most notably, Return of the Living Dead, one of my all-time favorite movies ever. Um, I just wanted to come here and I wanted to talk a little bit about Screaming in High Heels, the rise and fall of the Scream Queen. Uh, just tell us a little bit about that. Uh, where can we get information? When is it expected to be out? What are, you know? It'll be out probably in a couple probably a couple months on TV and then it's going to go into distribution and foreign domestic distribution and I saw it in Chicago which was about a month ago and it was the premiere it's amazing amazing documentary it almost made me cry and Jason Paul Cullum was the one that came up with the idea and, and directed it and uh, Derek was the editor and Tommy was the director, pretty much. And it was, it's just a great, great documentary. Um, it really, it just highlights how the Scream Queen really came into fruition. And really for a while there, every horror movie in the 80s had to have a Scream Queen. It was like a prerequisite. Um, yeah. And you've been in so many of them, uh, so many classic films. Uh, do you think that there'll be a resurgence of the Scream Queen? Do you think that we'll lean back towards that someday? I think it'll be a while before there's, you know, because there was like so many wannabe scream queens and, you know, somebody like took a picture in a scary outfit and was a scream queen. So I think that it'll die down for a while and then, you know, it'll come around. Like right now we're in zombie land. Everything's zombies right now. Before it was all, you know, vampires. Now it's all zombies. Which zombies is okay, but still, Return of the Living Dead. That's the best zombie film gotta be it's gotta be yes. uh, and they released it on blu-ray fantastic fantastic blu-ray release I'm so glad they're doing that okay. with some of these horror movies yes. uh, that may maybe not a lot of people know and I try to tell all the like zombie land fans I'm like you gotta see return of the living dead it's really amazing okay. um, so are there any projects you're working on lately anything that you want anybody to know about uh, check oh, out or? yeah I just was in LA doing 1313 cougar cult which you got to go see it would probably be out the very first of uh, the year and I'm going to be doing a film called Disciples and Mountain of the Flesh Eaters with Joe Hollow when I get back I'm gonna do a rock and roll video at the end of next month um, with uh, the director Victor Bonacore who I've done like some shorts with and also some features and I've got like another film I think called Trick or Treats in September I'm going to do and then some more conventions and still working with all the animal rights groups, saving animals, things like that. That's awesome as well. You are a busy lady. How do you fit it all in your schedule? I mean, Just make sure I write it down and I'm there. You're there. Yes. <laughs> Live at the uh, airport. Really amazing stuff. Uh, We'll have a look at Screaming in High Heels. Look out for it. Oh, uh, yeah. It's you and... Uh, and Brink Stevens, Michelle Bowers, David Dakota's in it, Fred Olin Ray, Richard Gabay, um, uh, 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 Ted Newsom. So they really talk to the directors of these films, too, to get into their minds. And then Michelle and Brink and I are, like, the main focus of it. So, Screaming in Hyos, is it uh, documentary style or does it show clips from other movies? It shows or? clips from all of our movies, all mm -hmm. the things we've done. Awesome. And it's uh, scream, Screaming in High Heels, The Rise and Fall of the Scream Queen. Look out for it. Is there anything else you need to tell the Fear Cast Nation? Ooh, that I love them all and I want them all to, to visit me and say hi at least once in their life. Do you have a website that we can all go to and check out what you're well, going to? Well, I have something that tells you where I'm at. It's not really a website, but it's www.LinneaQuigleyScreamTime.com. And everybody's got to go to that now. I know I will as soon as I get home. Um, it's been a pleasure. Uh, Fearcast, Linnea Quigley. Oh, I love you. Thank you so much. Okay.